The sentence of deliberate ambiguousness is too ambiguous. If you don't listen carefully, I thought it was a couple who had reunited after a long time and talked to each other here, but Shouser couldn't find the loophole in this sentence and directly refuted him. If she said something wrong, she would still appear to be affectionate, and she could only smile and raise the red wine glass. So, do you know? I always feel that you are different from other girls. Since high school, you have a special charm that has been attracting me, making me feel that you are a special one, you are better than all the other girls, must attract my attention after Kai Xiang raised her glass and looked at her with a smile, he drank the red wine in the glass and looked at Xiao Su with an undiminished smile until he looked at her with something wrong. About his head. Kai Xiang, we would always be classmates and good friends, but you still shouldn't say such misunderstood words, it's really not good what's not so good. Kai Xiang seemed to really not understand, kept looking at her. We are friends, but you can easily misunderstand our relationship when you say this. People who don't know may think that the two of us are lovers, and I don't want to be misunderstood. Shelsu put down the tableware, seriously looking at him, Kai Xiang did a lot of things that made her uncomfortable at the school's New Year's Eve five years ago, but he did not expect him to come again five years later. It seems to be misleading. Since you don't like it, I won't say it anymore. But how do you know that the two of us will always be classmates and friends? You are single now. Kai Xiang gave in, but gave orders. Xiao Su didn't know how to answer, so she could only lower her head and continue to eat, and give out a sullen sentence. Today I'm here to eat with you, not to answer your helpless questions. If you ask like this, I guess I have to go first, okay? I won't say any more, we'll just eat something Kai Xiang poured her a glass of wine again, so, don't you think you have changed a lot is it? If you don't like it five years ago, you'll just say it and don't give anyone face? But now you have a softer personality maybe people who become mothers have a lot of softer personality, after all, every day with children, it is impossible to carry sharp thorns at any time Xiao Su couldn't help smiling when she talked about Xiao Wang. The two were chatting and eating in the restaurant. After two hours of chatting, Kai Xiang drove Xiao Su to the MPG Manor. Bring you home, I'll go first, and if you need my help in the future, please call me. Kai Xiang got out of the car and stood by the door looking at Xiao Su, although he said he was going to leave. But did not show any intention to leave at all. Xiao Su also got out of the passenger cabin, took the key and pointed to the living room, and said politely, Why don't you go in and sit down, and let you see my son, a very cute child. Okay Kai Xiang seemed to say. I had already waited for her invitation, and immediately raised my foot and walked into the living room. Xiao Yan had already taken Xiao Wang back. Now the two of them were staying in the living room and watching TV. They saw Xiao Su and a strange boy walking in. I was stunned. Mum Xiao Wang jumped off the sofa and plunged directly into Xiao Su's arms. He looked at Kai Xian with some alertness, but he still asked with a milky voice. Mom, who is this uncle? Why? I haven't seen it before. This is my mother's former classmate. 
Today I came across as a guest at home, called Uncle Kai Shelson felt better as soon as he saw Shao Wang. Hello, Uncle Kai. Shao Wang shouted loudly, looking very polite, but deliberately emphasized the word uncle. Hello, I didn't bring you a gift today. I will make it up for you next time. What do you like? Kai Xiang looked over and saw the shadow of Bo Kingan on Xiao Wang's body at a glance. This is simply it was just a reduced version of Bo Kingan. The shrewdness and cold temperament in his eyes were revealed even when he was only four years old. When Xiao Su said she had children, he deliberately didn't ask much, because he knew that there was only one man in Chelsea's life, and there would be no other people except him. He would rather listen more. Chelsea said she and Bo King and fit doesn't matter. No need. Mum said you can't just ask for gifts from strangers. Thank you Uncle Xiao Wang slid off Xiao Su, looked at Kai Xiang and squinted his eyes and said, Uncle, you are so handsome, do you have a girl? My friend? What do you kid ask about? Is this what you should ask? Xiao Su didn't expect that he would ask so directly, pretending to be angry and patted his head lightly.